everybody I decided I was going to make a, a religious video and um, a inspirational video I don't know how to what to call this um, but first off I want to thank Maria Hernandez for um, pointing out that my Instagram was hacked because if she didn't I probably wouldn't have noticed um, that it would have probably take me a while to realize that it wasn't there anymore um, because I go in spurts with it like sometimes I'll post a whole bunch every single day and then sometimes I won't post for like a week or two at a time so thank you for that um, anyway I decided I was gonna make this video talking about personal changes that I have made um, with myself and my religious views when I was in the hospital and um, I was going through all that, they had a chaplain. Um, if any of you don't know what they are, they're non-denominational preachers, meaning they're not Catholic, they're not Lutheran, they're not Christian. They're just, well, they're Christian, but they're not like Pentecostal, Baptist, etc. They're chaplains. They just preach the word of the Lord um, to people um, at the hospital. Or some, sometimes they do it for the military personnel. Um, but for the first time in a long time, I actually started to pray with my heart instead of with just my brain. You know, I noticed a lot of things about myself that I was doing wrong, you know, and the sad thing is, even though I noticed that I was doing those things wrong for a while, I still kept going down the same path. But one thing that is clear to me now I haven't been in this life haven't been the best mom that I could be and that's sad I haven't been the best uh, it doesn't matter anymore but I haven't been the best fiance that I could be and in general I haven't been the best person that I could be I've said mean rude horrible things that I shouldn't have ever said. I've said hurtful things to people that weren't necessary. You know, I've been really, sometimes really hard on my kids when, you know, it wasn't necessary and now I realize I just need to accept that they're two and four and that's just, some of it just is, you know, and I've come to the realization that you know, I'm going to get a little Mother Teresa here because I know some of this is something that she said, but I can't, I don't know the exact quote. But she said, if you do good, people are going to think you're all, you're going to, you have an ulterior motive, but do good anyway. She said, you know, love people even if they don't love you back. You know what I mean? And I, I just, I have to agree with that because, you know, I look at, I look at myself and I look at my childhood and my mom did the very best she could with everything she was given. Now it's time for me to do that. I feel like God has opened my eyes to be an amazing mother and an amazing person where I just wasn't doing it before. You know what I'm saying? Like. I feel like, I feel like I can, I feel like I can make real changes, you know what I mean? Real changes in my household, with myself, with my kids, you know what I mean? Like, I went from being the mom that if my kids were fighting over a toy, I would just yell and take the toy away from them. And now I feel like I can step in and like if Thomas and Oliver are fighting over a toy, I feel like now I can step in, be calm and like say Oliver had it first, give it to Oliver, take Thomas and explain to him why it's wrong. I get that he's two, but believe it or not, two year olds understand so much more than you could possibly imagine. You know what I mean? Like I went from being the mom that when it was bedtime, it was bedtime. That was it. You're not getting a drink. You're not getting up to go to the bathroom. You had that opportunity. If you get out of bed, you are going to get in trouble. And now to me, it's like, I feel like now that I'm calmer and now that 
I can take things in stride. Everything with my kids has gone so much smoother, you know what I mean? And I'm trying to get to the point where I don't swear in front of them anymore because that's something that I'm really bad about. I say the F word all the time. I use God's name in vain all the time and I'm just really bad about it. You know, and that's another thing that I'm just working on, trying to change because... I have to practice what I preach to my children. I can't tell them don't swear if I'm always swearing. You know, and if I do do it, I try to say, oh, I'm sorry, we don't say that. You know, that's not, that's not nice. You know what I mean? I feel like now I'm more playful with my children. Like, like Leah got in the dog's kennel today and I said, are you doggy woof? And you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I've changed just in that aspect that I'm, more I'm more opened you know what I mean and the thing is like the person that I want to be you know I made a video a while ago becoming the person I always wanted to be but now I feel like I actually am that person you know what I mean like I may slip up and I may make a mistake sometimes but ultimately, every day, I'm striving to be that person just a little bit more, the kind person that I used to be. You know, I had a best, I have a best friend named Laura Lee. I have two best friends, Jessica and Laura Lee. We were in the seventh grade, and this is the person I was before I let the world turn me bitter. And that's another thing. Don't ever let a, a, somebody else turn you bitter. Don't let the world turn you bitter. Don't sacrifice your own happiness because, you know, something bad happened to you. That's that's one thing. I, I don't ever want to be bitter ever again. But like I was saying, when I was in the seventh grade, this girl, Laura Lee, she, uh, she was mean to me the whole school year in seventh grade. She came to this new school and I was the first person to be nice to her and show her around. And, um, I'm sorry that I'm talking about you. Like, if you're seeing this video, I'm really sorry. Um, and then she started hanging out with another group of girls. And they said bad things about me. And she was mean to me basically the whole school year. But at the end of the school year, she stopped and she apologized to me. For everything she said and did and she expected me to turn away from her and to be mean to her right back but instead I said I forgive you and she invited me over to her house and we've been friends ever since and that one act of kindness goes to show that it's worth being kind to somebody to everybody because there's there's somebody that's really going to appreciate it. And even if you don't get anything in return, in this life, what happens is between you and God. You know what I mean? So, I'm not going to be bitter anymore. And I'm not going to be mean anymore. And I'm not going to say mean things. Because I want to be a different person. For everybody who's watched my YouTube videos forever, thank you for putting up with me so much because seriously, I can, I can see where some of my videos get kind of annoying. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video.